My name is Mighty Beard, and we are back here once again on the Unorthoblox server, emanating from, of course, the Witch Farm. <laughs> We've been chilling here for uh, a few days, just kind of AFKing, collecting as much as much uh, material. Uh, and resources that we can and it has finally paid off that's because here in the shopping district there's a brand new shop here it's called bees <laughs> and this is where the bottles have been going this is a uh uh, a project that Lady Bex was working on and uh Draken helped quite a bit as far as uh, setting up the farm. We've been getting supplies and yeah, hopefully, hopefully soon, uh, they can get fully stocked up. I know they're still working on some stuff and really I I'm interested in these beehives. Uh, not, not because of the bees specifically, but, um, just the, just the textures. I mean, if we, if we take a look at this, let's go ahead and put, put one on the ceiling. We kind of look underneath, right? Okay. Have that have that with our oak floors. I think I think that would look I think that would look rather nice uh, up top. Same same texture. So yeah, having this like mixing with the floors, I think I think would be really cool. Ooh, a beekeeper starter kit. Wow, a beehive, two bee nests, bottles, flowers, twelve diamonds each. That's not a bad deal. That is not a bad deal at all. Bee heads. Three diamonds a piece. I mean, we've got we've we've got three bee heads we could uh, be selling here. Anyways, we've got some projects to work on. By the way, we should probably we should probably tear this down. And actually, I don't mind it. We we just bumped it back one block and kind of made it a bit skinnier. But uh, yeah, we've got the bearded pop up shop more at uh, the full shop, of course. And then inside, uh, we're doing a bit of a flash sale. So one slot for one diamond. So we'll do, we're doing uh, a, a stack of bone blocks for a diamond and a half a stack of uh, iron blocks. So that's cheaper than how you can get in the store, but it is limited supplies. I'm having the, the, the weirdest experience <laughs> trying to get back home. Um... <laughs> This is this is what I've been doing. Uh I can't use rockets. Uh I'm I'm just I'm just in fly mode. And uh yeah. This is weird. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, servers. Okay. So I I have logged in a few times it, and it is definitely still a thing. <laughs> <laughs> but my FPS is like through the roof right now, so I don't understand. I don't understand what's what's causing this. But I like it. I enjoy this. This is this is a nice way to travel. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey, hey, hi. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's uh, let's go home. And here at home, I've been gathering some supplies because we're going to head out and work on a new project. That's right. We've got something else, something else to go do um, that will take us away from our base. But that's fine. That's fine. Uh, and here's here's a little bit of spoilers, a little bit of spoilers of, of the types of supplies that we've got. Good stuff. Good stuff. All good stuff. And uh, yeah, I say we just we just go out there and start working before we do. We have something to take care of. There we go. All done. I hope you're happy, Tootie. Ooh, Betty buys. If it is nighttime in the overworld, sleep here to turn the night to day before exiting the nether. Wonderful. Oh, Gray. Gray has a review. 10 out of 10. I can say with my hand on my heart that this was the best night's sleep I have ever had. You really are missing out if you don't give it a go. Well, well, okay. All right. Hey, I suppose, uh, I suppose we, we could, we could give it a go, but Hey, I just slept. I just slept. So it should, it should be fine. And this is where we're going to be working today here on the mushroom Island. Well, except it's not our mushroom island. We're actually on a new mushroom island, 
And uh, behind me, you can see a huge structure has already been started. Uh, this is going to be the site of uh, a game, I guess you can call it. Here in the center of the walled structure is uh, pretty much an open an open canvas. A few things have already started to uh, to be built. Um, this is a community effort. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of us. Sunny is uh, pretty much coordinating this. Lady Bex is involved. Neon is involved. I think Mighty High is involved as well. Draken. Maybe Gray. I can't recall. Toby. Toby for sure is involved. Um, and uh, yeah, we're, we're all uh, doing our part to build this in hopes that we will be able to play um before halloween so the the concept of the game is um model after after a game called uh death by daylight i think i think that's what it's called I, i'm unfamiliar with the game but i'm i'm very familiar with this concept where uh basically uh there's going to be one or multiple quote unquote killers that are after us after the players and it is our job as players to um, evade them, so there's a lot of hidey spots that we'll be that we'll be making. That's that's part of the structures that we're going to be building, and uh, we have to solve a puzzle. Uh, the the puzzle is basically turning on generators. I think there's uh, I don't know between three and five, and um, once those are all turned on uh, via redstone, uh, doors will open on various spots. I think I think there's one right there behind me. Um, I think there was another one, maybe, maybe right there behind me on this side and, uh, and then you can escape. So, uh, yeah, basically we, we have to try not to die and then, uh, <laughs> and then run out, but we have to solve the puzzle before we can do that. So, uh, it should be a lot of fun and yeah, some builds have already started taking shape. Uh, so in the center here is going to be uh, kind of like a, a mound. Uh, it is going to be a wheat field. Uh, in the center will be some kind of uh, tractor or combine that has a generator attached to it. Uh, we'll also have some 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 trees uh, involved, and then we've got like these little these little structures here. Uh, they're gonna basically gonna be high walls, but there's gonna be like little little hiding spots. Uh, that that you'll be able to you know walk in and uh, and you know hope hope that you're not found. Uh, we're going to be building the walls, and I, I don't know if we're if we'll keep this kind of design, but I believe in Death by Daylight there were like these little cabinets, these little storage cabinets that you can go in. Uh, over here is going to be the main uh, the main build in, in this area, and Lady Bex is working on it, and it is uh, going to be a barn. And I'm just running away because I don't want to spoil too much of it. Uh, there's going to be some parkour. Uh, we've got, yeah, these little terraformed hills that are going to be running. And then, yeah, we're going to be working on, uh, we're going to be working on these high wall type type divider areas. And again, it's it's just a way, uh, it's just a way to um, to hide. There'll be little hidey holes. And the other th nice thing is we've also got all this room down here. Uh, so there'll be tunnels that, uh, that, that, that we can hide in. So basically, uh, the hidey holes will be functional in that not only will we be able to hide in there and hopefully not be found, but we can also move from one location to another through, uh, through, through these little tunneling areas. So we've got our supplies. We have a general idea of what it is we're going to build. And I think right now we're just going to go in build mode and start uh, start producing. Let's do this.
All right, so we made quite a bit of progress. I'm really, really stoked with how how this is turning out, and we're going to record this at night just so we can get kind of just a general idea of the spookiness of it. But yeah, if we we work around, I mean, there's there there are some buildings that we still need to do. But yeah, um, I started working on this and I was like, yeah, let's just do a full roof. And I was like, wait, it's just supposed to be decrepit and like abandoned. So I have like a, a tree that has fallen down and kind of crashed down onto uh, onto the buildings. So some just like random, random pieces of wood. Um, we've we also have cellars. Um, so underneath some of the builds, we have um, we have like these little areas where you can you can come down and hide maybe some goodie chests down here uh which would be pretty cool and uh we have connected the cellars to the upstairs uh again i wanted to have uh, a lot of a lot of cool things where you can like you know run and uh jump up here sneak through the window and that way you can get a, a like a nice getaway also made like run spaces in between builds and the walls uh like super cramped so it's hard to like fully run through um and then yes yeah, some of these there's a uh, little little hiding areas you can come down sneak through and get access to the cellar so, you know, it's just it's just something nice. It just makes the the environment a little bit more interactive. Um and yeah, it makes it uh, a bit harder to to move around and and do things. Um it, especially when you're being chased, you're going to panic. Uh yeah, and so, you know, not all the hidey holes have functions. You know, so, some of the cabinets are just cabinets, uh but we wanted to add a, a few other things uh to the mix. Now, there are some functionality things going on here. So um, this was the, the the marking for where the killer shack goes. And, um, you know, I, I wasn't really sure how to how to how to build this. Um, but I think I think this turned out pretty well. Just like something that looks like just kind of thrown together. Uh, there are these pressure plates here. And I don't know if they're going to be tied to the redstone lamps. There's a lot of unknowns right now of how some of the redstone is going to be working. So kind of building around it. But yeah, if we go into um, the um, these shacks, there are uh, basically it's it's going to be a little bit better than this, like maybe like some kind of drop system. Um, well, not necessarily a drop. Actually, it's going to ri rise up. See, the how this is going to work is that you know outside of the redstone that's here, I'm not again, I'm not really sure what's going on here, <laughs> but uh, theoretically, when killers enter in. Uh, to the arena they're going to enter in from one of these shacks so there's going to be an entrance outside of the wall which then will lead like in some kind of tunnel system lead to uh, the actual building and then yeah as far as uh, as far as like these little cellars this is this is the ugliness that we've got going on but I think this is going to work overall for, for what we're trying to do we don't need to pretty out like pretty up the outside like areas that you know no one's going to see but it does bring up the idea of if the killers are coming in to the arena through a tunnel system and we're theoretically uh, making some travel through tunnels of our own, what if the two areas were merged? What if it's possible that the killer could use those tunnels to move around but the player could also find themselves in those tunnels, a little like a little maze underneath, like a sewer system potentially. Uh, those are some thoughts that I've got going on. But as you can see, we've got like a lot of random redstone happening right now, <laughs> and I don't know where anything's going to go yet. So um, because of that, uh, we're gonna we're gonna hold off. We're gonna hold off building that that kind of tunnel system until we know for sure where where things are going to go but i think a sewer would be pretty pretty slick and we've also started to play around with some just like external design ideas here so we've got like some old old logs uh maybe for a, a furnace at some point uh some soot covered ground uh we do have some of these cabinets on the outside of buildings but i've also tried to like i don't know mark out like 
maybe maybe this building kind of extended and yeah just kind of overtaken by by the growth uh same thing over here i just kind of tried to line line up the ground so it looks like maybe there was a foundation that this was a larger a larger building at some point uh but yeah a lot of bushes and yeah just really really like i don't know again interactive uh interactive elements here so that it's it's a little bit uh, you know, more of a challenge to run through and escape, but opportunities that you can, um, you know, run away from, from the killer. So with that, um, I think we're going to call this episode over. Um, there's a lot of other ideas that we've got going on and, uh, I can't wait to put them in play, but should have the conversation of where the rest of the redstone is going so that, uh, yeah, everyone's on the same page and uh, we can go ahead and wrap this up hopefully next episode or i don't know we'll see we'll see but that's it my name is mighty beard it's been a pleasure and we will play minecraft together again very soon later <laughs>